What is up, everybody? Tim's here, and uh, welcome back to another Code Igniter installment to this series. In uh, today's video, I will be doing a change password since we've uh, covered the login and the register. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is go to our models, and we're gonna create a model. Um, the main reason is is uh, I'll call it the page handler. And what is it gonna do? I'll put it in the top as a little description. Uh, it's like a we'll say page handler. Um, what can I what can I call? It? I'll say it's a page verification. Okay. Meaning, so I'll create a public. Well, let's say it's a it's a model. So I'll say um, class page handler extends. CI model and then put public function and we'll call this one uh, is logged in. Now, this one's going to be different, and I'll explain. And what we're going to do is we're going to return this session uh, user data logged in. But that's what we've called it, right? Logged in. Alright, so how do we use this? If we were to say if this page handler and we put is logged in, this would return um, logged in user. Okay, that's how that one works, right? But this one, the, the one we're about to create now, is, um, is automatically going to do this for us. So we'll just put public function member page. And what it's going to do is we're going to say if this uh, is logged in equal to true. Well, I, I guess you can just leave it as is. Um, then we're going to return true. Else we're going to redirect to uh, base URL. And we'll consider the refresh. And there we go. So what we can do now is we can activate this model and if we want a member page only, meaning the person is logged in, then we call out member page. So we're automatically setting the page to a member only, hence the function name. So let's get started and we're gonna create a controller. I'm gonna call it uh my account dot php and um let's get started. Public function oh wait, forgot it. we're gonna name our class. Class my account extend CI controller <clears throat> sorry guys public function index or whatever and maybe in which case we're going to do public function change password okay then we're good alright so first thing we're going to do is we're going to say this load Wow, I cannot type, guys. This load model page handler. And then we're going to say this. We're going to say if. No, well, let's see. I guess we could just call it out. Uh, this page handler uh, member page, I guess. And we'll see how that works out. If I say my account slash change password oh what happened let's see I think I yeah base URL sorry about that alright do it again what was it my account change password and then boom we get sent back so let's go ahead and log in um Password, successful login. And we can try this again. My account page password. And there we go. See, now we're actually in the page, which means we're logged in. Okay? So that, that's how that's going to work. And what we can do now is actually to make it our lives a little bit easier, we can go to the auto load, go to models, and just type that in. Page handler. And now we can remove this little bit of coding. And oh, 
it should still work. Yep, still works. So that's pretty simple. That's just the first part um, to the change password. Well, just in general, this will be like an update to the little project that I'm working on with you guys. So in the next one, we will actually create the form and whatnot. So um, see you guys in the next video.